the first thing you notice when arriving with the tender on this 27 metric Grande Azimut is this generously set up beach club. Coming up the stairs from the beach club, you have the hydraulic passerelle hidden nicely in the stairs. You arrive in this generous and beautifully laid out cockpit area with a big dining table with some nice detailing in the edge, beautiful shade and sunlight coming in from the sides. Here you have the stairs to the flybridge and the nice feature of course is this three element glass door that divides the saloon from the outside but if you completely open it the three panels hide behind this part and then you have a seamless integration of the interior and exterior space. I think that's very beautiful and it gives this fresh open feeling allowing a natural breeze of wind getting inside the saloon. Coming into the saloon now through these open doors you notice the beautiful round-shaped interior drawn by the hand of the interior designer Achille Salvani which gives a very cozy yet stylish atmosphere. You have the sofa set up with loose furniture, a beautiful table that looks for me a bit like a stone in the middle and then also on the ceiling you have the continuation of these round elements and also the windows are nicely framed this way and sitting here you realize how much light and how much space you have on this boat and it's so beautiful to observe these yachts on anchor and see the islands and the tree and the, the birds flying around so I get really philosophical here and you can feel this light breeze coming in. The dinner table is set up for eight people and you have the feature lights coming out of the ceiling and again lots of natural light coming in on the ports and starboard side to the big windows and here would actually be the way to the galley but let me show you first actually the helm station so I'll take the camera quickly and go up here the stairs where you have the helm station which is basically a raised pilot house and uh, you have your engines uh, the MON 2x 1950 horsepowers and then you have your bow and stern thruster you have electric CMC stabilizers they're not hydraulic they're electric that's very important uh, then you have the Humphrey uh, um, trim uh, tabs basically they're not tabs they're like blades that are coming down and then the compass in the middle of course that's the searchlight and then the autopilot um, over here the uh, the panel and then um, well that's basically to control um, also the uh, the simrod and um, then you have the engine uh, controls and down here the VHF coming down from the staircase on the helm station we have on the middle the staircase down to the guest area and then continuing forward we have a nice day head and then of course the master cabin with lots of storage in this master cabin of course the main feature are those huge side windows that allow lots of natural light and if it's too much light you can actually have the optional uh, blackout uh, blinds coming down so it gets completely dark that you can also sleep during the night or into the day if you pass it maybe a little bit um, into the night and then you have a double bed in the middle which is uh, framed by the round shape and all these round interior features of course continue also in this master cabin behind this mirror wall we have the TV and then we can actually go into the bathroom and then in this bathroom of course you have lots of storage behind the walls you have a beautiful shower cabin double sink configuration with some drawers underneath and then of course you have a toilet and some natural light coming in from the side walking down the stairs onto the lower deck you have all your guest cabins and this is a pretty nice layout with two twins if you follow me then actually here we have the double bed uh, VIP cabin and then here we have the twin VIP cabin with a beautiful 
feature lamp in the middle and lots of natural light uh, getting inside and I like also this beautiful uh, old style portal integrated into the uh, modern frame design and if you follow me inside also the cabin you see that behind this mirror wall there's actually the TV and then you have um, a cabinet here for your clothes and then let me quickly take the camera and I can show you the bathroom the ensuite shower and toilet beautifully arranged also with the teak floor Coming up the stairs to the flybridge, we have, of course, the helm station, nice uh, raised sofa. Then on the port side, we have the bar that is fully equipped with barbecue, grill, fridge and ice maker. Here you have a huge alfresco dining table. To mention, very important is the optional hot top, very expensive option with the retractable uh, shading. And then you have uh, a beautiful uh, round shaped sofa the sun beds over here that are covered by this optional uh, sun awning on beautifully crafted carbon fiber poles that are very light and you can really have good tension on the sun sail. As you can see the wind is picking up a bit but that of course doesn't stop us from continuing the video. So on the helm station on the flybridge of course you have everything repeated, the bound stone trusses, the trim tabs from Humphrey, the engine controls, the Simrad controls, actually there are also touch screen and then you have your burning engine displays for the MN engines, steering wheel of course, uh, VHF and then the engine controls. Double um, set up with the displays which of course you can uh, adjust uh, what you want to be have displayed here's the chart plotter and there's also some cameras and we have the horn going to the forward section you are surprised by the amount of space this bow section actually offers and this is the clever idea of azimut who was I think the one of the first with the square shaped bow and that's where you can see how much more space this actually gives. You have a beautiful lounge up here with a little table, you have this optional carbon fiber poles with the sun shading and then here you have a beautiful sun bed that is really spacious if you put in relation that I'm 1 meter 80 actually 1 meter 88. It's quite a spacious sunbed for a couple of people and this view is actually amazing. Lying here, observing the bay, the boats and then also you have the anchor arrangements which uh, looks pretty tidy to me. Thank you for watching the video. It was a beautiful day out in Cannes on board this 27 Azimut Grande edition. And she's for sale now with BreezeAutoing.Swiss, so don't hesitate. Give me a call, send me a WhatsApp. She's located in Cannes and I will be, of course, very happy to give you a personal tour on board. It's a stunning boat in brand new condition, ready for a new owner. We speak yachting. Let's talk.